Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at a question that has to do with conditional probability. So the question is, there are 30 students in a class. Of the 16 boys, 8 wear glasses, and of the 14 girls, 4 wear glasses. If a student is picked at random, what is the probability that it is a girl, given that the student wears glasses? So this bit here, given that the student wears glasses, is the bit that makes it conditional probability. So we have a formula for conditional probability. This is the probability of A given B. That's the probability of one thing happening, given that the second thing has definitely happened. There's two ways you can do it. You can use the cardinal number, so that's the number of elements in the intersection of A and B, the two sets, over the number of elements in B, the second set. Or you can use probabilities and use the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. So I'm going to do it both ways here. Um, in this question, I'm letting boys equal big B, girls equal big G, and glasses equal to small g. So the first way, using the first bit of the formula here, um, the probability of girl given glasses. That is equal to the cardinal number of G intersection G. Gla girls intersection glasses. So that means how many girls are there that wear glasses? Well, if you look at the question, there are 14 girls, four of them wear glasses, so it's four. And over the cardinal number of G, that's the number of students who wear glasses in total, that's eight boys and four girls that wear glasses, so it's four over 12. Four over 12 will simplify down to one third, or as a decimal, you can write it as 0 0.3. 3 recurring. We're just going to do it the other way now just to show that you'll get the same answer. So the probability of girl given glasses is equal to the probability of girl intersection glasses. So the probability of girl intersection glasses is the probability of getting a girl who wears glasses out of the total group. So there are four girls who wear glasses. There's 30 in the group altogether, so the probability of G, big G, intersection small g, is 4 over 30. Over the probability of glasses, so how many students wear glasses in total, that's 12. 12 students wear glasses out of 30. So 4 over 30 divided by 12 over 30, you can pop that into your calculator and you should get the same answer, which is 1 third or 0 0.3. 3 recurring. So I have a few questions for you here to try using the same information as above. Get the probability of boy given that the student wears glasses, the probability of a student that wears glasses given that it's a girl, and the probability of a student wearing glasses given that it's a boy. Try them, put the answers in the comments and see if you get them right.